Okay, hello again. So I wanted to make this little video about, um, so today's topic is gonna be about waking up early. Um, and so I guess there's a few things that I wanted to talk about, but um, I guess I'll just kind of start start rambling a little bit. So um, waking up early to me, I think is super, super important because when you wake up early, it kind of sets the tone for the day, you know? So when you have your alarm clock that goes off and you actually get up when the alarm goes off the first time, um, to me, that's essentially you've you've won the first task. You, you've beaten the first thing of the, of your day. Um, to me, if you if your alarm goes off, you're supposed to get up. That's why it went off is because there's a reason to get up and you should have gotten up. And then you snooze it. To me, it's like okay, you've already lost. You've already lost the first thing for that day. That sets the tone. Um, so when you when you snooze, I think it's dangerous because it kind of just it it affects the rest of your day. You know it. it the things that happen in the morning, the things that happen throughout your whole day affect the rest of how you do things, you know? So if you snooze now, you're gonna snooze on other things later as well. So if you snooze on the alarm, you might snooze on your diet, you might snooze on exercise, you might snooze on this, you might snooze on that. So to me, waking up when you're supposed to wake up is really important. So wake up, um, I don't know, I think waking up early is awesome. So um, that was one thing was essentially don't snooze on your alarm. Um, I feel other things is I think it's just kind of like a motivating, powerful thing to wake up early. Uh, so a lot of people aren't willing to. A lot of people want to sleep, and everyone wants to sleep, and no one, no one wants to get up early. No one actually feels like getting out of their warm, cozy bed at 5 a.m. or whatever. Um, but it's the people that do that that get shit done. You know, if, if, if you end up not doing that, it just kind of carries over. And so I think it's a pretty motivating, powerful thing to be able to say that, yep, I got up when I was supposed to, and I got shit done, and I, and I figured things out, you know? Um, so I think that's a pretty pretty sweet, cool thing. It's kind of fun to be, I don't know if fun's the right word, but it's just kind of, um, I don't know, it's, it's just motivating to me. When you're, when you're up early, and you know that, you know, your roommates are still passed out, they're probably still drunk from the night before, um, to be up, to be up and awake and doing things when nobody else is up and awake and doing things, is is kind of, it's kind of cool, you know. It makes you feel kind of good, um, and so that's just one other thing as well. Um, and if you think, I was just thinking about this recently too. Um, that if you if you do some research on just successful people in the world, um, I mean, there's a whole list of people, but just do some research and, and figure out. When are they? When are those people waking up in the morning? Are they sleeping until eleven? You know, is is Warren Buffett sleeping until eleven? Is Barack Obama sleeping in until the wee hours of the? Well, you know, you know, okay, not the wee hours, but you know what I'm saying. Successful people aren't sleeping in until eleven and noon and one p.m. Uh, they're just not doing it, and there's a reason for it because when you do that. For me, it's like when you wake up that late, and that's my temptation is to sleep in until 10, 11, 12. Um, that's what I feel like doing. But when you do that, and I think this is kind of a universal rule of just people, when you when you sleep in that late, it, you just feel groggy. You just feel like garbage, you know? When you're sleeping in, when you, you don't need that much sleep. I think that people get a little bit caught up in, oh, I have to get my eight hours of sleep. I have to get this, this much sleep. Otherwise I'm going to die. I think that people get caught up in that rule a little bit too much. Cause I don't think you need that much sleep. <laughs> um, you know, you probably should get a little bit more than two or three or four hours, but you don't need nine, 10, 11 hours of sleep. Um, and so I think that people get that kind of confused and mixed up and like, think, oh, I got to get my beauty sleep. No, you don't. You, you just don't. If you get six, seven, eight hours, that's plenty. That's all you really need. And it gets easier as you get older. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Um, and the more of a routine you get in, it just becomes easier. So um, anyway, that's that. Wake up early. It makes you feel good. And it's a powerful thing. So whatever, whatever time that might be for you, it might not be 4 a.m., but don't make it 10 a.m., you know? So set a time. Don't snooze. Get up early.